Hi guys, Tracy here from Red Wind Studio. It's Friday morning and I am working on a couple of pine custom pieces. Um, I posted a picture last week when they first came in and I just want to show you what I've done so far and um, give you a little bit of explanation, sort of a little tip here. So I'm going to flip the camera around. So I've already started on them. I've given them um, a light sanding with 220 grit and the tops were pretty rough on them. Um, but instead of trying to make everything completely smooth, I've left some of the dings and stuff, but some of the bigger ones I filled in with um, wood filler. So you can see here that there's, um, I've got wood filler in it, but if you look closely, you can still see that there's still marks. Um, so you, I want to leave that. Pine's pretty soft, it marks very easily, so I'm not gonna completely make it um, a hundred percent new looking and I also want to let you know see all these knots here pine knots bleed so you can see that there's a little bit of shine on them so before I start painting yesterday I put shellac on, over top of the knots so that um, there we go, flip that back around, so that um, the knots won't bleed through the paint. Now, the customers picked red barchetta as the color, so the knots probably wouldn't show up too much even if I didn't um, put the shellac over them, but I don't want to take a chance in, you know, six months that these brown ookie spots start to pop through. So if you're ever painting pine, especially if you're going with a light color, make sure that you either put shellac or a shellac primer over top of the knots to seal them to prevent um, the tannins from coming through in the knots. So that's my little Friday tip for you guys. So keep an eye out. I'm hoping to get um, these all painted up and finished over the weekend and I'll post um, the finished pictures next week hopefully. So you guys have a great Friday. I'm here till 5. Pop in, say hi, um, and see what's going on in the studio. Thanks a lot guys. Cheers.